Hello everybody. Session 40, Analysis of the Play, Scene 5, 6 and 7. Scene 5. Shihabuddin and Ratan Singh, the Amirs and the Saeeds are involved in a discussion to teach a lesson to Sultan for his tyrannical attitude. They project the Sultan as blasphemous and implore Shehabuddin to act on their behalf. The proposed shift of capital from Delhi to Dawlatabad is vigorously debated. The Amirs debate the proposed shift of the capital to Dawlatabad. According to them, this shift is a trap to disempower them since Dawlatabad is a place with a majority of Hindu population. The armies, along with Rasan Singh, successfully managed to persuade Shihabuddin to engage in the plot of the murder of the Sultan. It is decided by the consensus that Tughlaq would be murdered on the day of his darbar e khas at the time of prayer. Scene 6. The Sultan's announcement to introduce copper currency in the Sultanate further disappoints the Amirs. Shehabuddin advises the Sultan not to move to Dawlatabad as it might invite the hatred of many citizens, but it falls in his deaf ears and he won't change decision. The Sultan somehow finds out that the Amirs have planned to murder him with Shehabuddin. Shehabuddin is mercilessly stabbed by Sultan himself in a fit of rage. Tughlaq emerges as a brute and merciless murderer in the scene. He orders the corpses of all conspirators be hanged publicly for people to learn a lesson. He also bans all prayer in his kingdom, but Najib advises him to suspend all prayer till the anticipated arrival of Ghiyasuddin Abbasid, a descendant of the Khalifa. Scene 7. Aziz, still dressed as a Brahmin, swindles innocent citizens on their way to the new capital and makes money out of it. Aziz lives a life of cheating others and deprived of their properties. When asked, he justifies his each and every action based on the circumstance. Thank you.